Hey fellow YouTubers, this is Joyce from This and That Creations, where I inspire you to be original in all you do and just be you. Today I'm joining Craft Your Stash Challenge, hosted by Simple Yet Chic. Please make sure to check out her channel, and also check out that playlist link down below with all those amazing DIYers. If you enjoy upcycling, trash to treasure, thrift flips, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Enough chatting, let's go craft. All right, guys, for the first DIY, I have this cute bunny. It's got some chip paint. I got it for $2. We're going to change it around. It's cute and all, but it's not what I want to do. So I took it to my shop, and I sanded it down to a smooth surface so we can paint it. We're going to use our Folk Art White. We're going to paint this bunny all over. Full coat, front, back, everywhere. I do end up doing two coats, but I'm not going to have you watch me do that. I'm like, oh, I gotta paint this bunny. And I stop what I'm doing. Squirrel. We're gonna use our Waverly Antique Wax. Just gonna put it inside the little lid there. And I'm just gonna dry brush some strokes on here. You can do it however you want. I kind of just go with it. We're gonna do that all over the box. I'm gonna try to create a wood look. wax on the bunny front just to give it to that antique worn look that we all love and make sure to get the outer edges as well to give it some dimension I like how it looks already we're gonna go back to the box and put some heavier antique wax darker spots in areas see my little dog in the back. I'm going to use my Waverly ink chalk paint and I'm just going to take a little brush and make some strokes all over the box. Some areas darker than others. I know it looks like a mess right now. It's got to be patient and wait till the end. We're gonna take a baby wipe and we're just gonna go ahead and start wiping all over the box, blending it all together. This is how we're gonna get our wood look. You could add more color, some gray, or mix it up a little bit. This is what I was going for. You wanna make sure not to forget those edges. I almost did. Look how super cute that is. And also can take the baby wipe and lighten up in the back of the ears a little bit. I got a little heavy handed, but it's all right. We are gonna be gluing pieces on this front piece, but I still wanted to show some of the wood look. So I decided to take my black Waverly ink again and just do a little bit dabs around the edge to blend in with the brown and give it a little bit more dimension and bring all the colors together. And I finally found some ballerina pink with Waverly. We're gonna go ahead and just use a little bit and make a little ear, pink ear, inside ear. You know what I'm trying to say, for the ears. <laughs> I don't want it to show too much, but I want you to be able to see it. The 
then I decided I need a little bit of something else, so I'm taking a little bit of white and lightly, just a little bit on the brush, dry brushing over the box. Now let's start decorating. I got some Spanish moss, glue it right into that bird hole. Then I have these little moss balls I got from Dollar Tree. We're gonna use these as decoration. We're gonna glue them on. I'm using five, you can use less or more. And I'm kind of doing it not an exact pattern. Some are up and some are laying down, if that makes sense. And I got this at the thrift store for a quarter. I'm gonna tear it apart and use these little roses and we're just gonna put them right in them with these little moss balls. Now in a previous project, I painted the thing to look like wood. That's where I got the idea for the box. So I thought I'd add it on here. One more thing removed from my craft stash, right? So I'm just placing the flowers where I feel like I want them. That's totally a personal preference. It's so cute already, guys. It's super easy. And I'm a little bit out of frame, I apologize. But I'm just gonna make a little bow. I'm gonna crisscross all my pieces. Pick out whichever um, ribbon you like. I got some of this Easter ribbon from one of those Michaels $5 boxes after sale. I'm gonna use it this year. I love those sales. I love looking through those boxes and seeing what you can get. You just trim it down to and how big or how small you want the bow. So once you're done crisscrossing them, you're gonna take a piece of twine, you're gonna pinch it together. It's already cute. Then you're just gonna wrap it around and tie it in a double knot and arrange your bow how you want it. So I got these stickers from my sister. She sent me a box of crafts because I need more, right? And I decided to use this little pink bird. How cute! And I said I want something in the middle of the bow, so I grabbed some pieces from my stash, a little flower, and glued it in the center. I got these pom-poms from the thrift store. Yep, that's why I love the thrift store. And look how cute! A little bunny butt. Love it. I absolutely love this. I think it turned out super cute. All right, guys, on the second DIY, we're gonna have two for one. I got this rice paper at a little local store. It's a little thicker than tissue paper. I also got the decorative tray from the thrift store for 99 cents though it's not much decorated, but we're gonna change that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trace around my box so I know the size I need to cut for my tissue, well, excuse me, my rice paper. I really wanted to try this, and it is a little thicker, and it's a beautiful print. I absolutely love it. So once we trace around the basic size, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Now these two projects are pretty simple, but I thought I'd throw them in here anyway because they turned out amazing and I really like the simplicity of them. Whenever I'm at the thrift store, I try to pick up blank canvases because I know I'll use them and I love that the centerpiece was already white so I don't need to paint it. If it was a dark color, you want to paint it white to put down your rice paper. So I am, here I am just pushing in the edges so I can get more of a correct measurement. So once I've cut that down, I know it's the correct 
size. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my Mod Podge inside of it. Now I didn't paint the frame, the outer edges, because I love that um, mixture of wood color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place it in here, pretty basic. You do not wanna rub too heavily, you kinda wanna do a rub and tap. You will have a couple wrinkles, but they will not be noticed. noticeable. Look how stinking cute that rice paper is. I love it. Now this wood piece, I'm putting my um, Cricut decal wording on. I had from a previous project in my craft stash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. I already had it stained with like eight, um, the Waverly Antique Wax or some wax, I can't say for sure. But you could use any color. You want to pick out your wording, what you want in the Cricut. telling y'all these projects are super simple but I just love putting pieces together I just love it I don't know what else to tell you they turn out stinking cute and I don't know about you all but my cricket and I have a love-hate relationship I'm just gonna throw out there that shirt I'm wearing. We made it on the Cricut. I absolutely love it because I'm so not for everyone. So we just printed out Bloom Where You Are Planted. I love that little quote. It's simple, but it means so much. Just gonna find our placement. We're gonna glue it in. That simple. I'm gonna tell y'all on the little side of that, the rice paper was kind of had it wasn't even on the edge, but we're gonna fix that. And you can always fix it. So I have this little wreath of flowers I got for a quarter at the thrift store. I'm just taking it apart, pulling off a couple of the pink roses, and then a white daisy. So you can fix any mistake you make. We're just gonna decide where we want those and we're gonna glue them on. That simple. I know I've said simple a lot, but that's what this project's about, is simplicity. I mean, look at that. Here it is. Took only a few minutes, a few, few items, and you have a stinking cute little wall decor. I absolutely love this. Oh yeah, and then I forgot I was gonna add a little something, something, another little flower, just cause I can. I don't know if I mentioned I got a little um, tray. It says a decorating tray for 99 cents at a thrift store. 
Okay, to the second little bonus DIY. This one's super simple as well, because I got another tray. This one I paid a dollar ninety-nine for. I got them because they, you know, went together. I'm gonna take my Moss Waverly paint. I'm almost out of it. I need to get some more. I love this color. I really love the color next to it, wood. So we're just gonna paint the center here. You wanna go careful around the edges so you don't get the paint on the wood. is not showing the side of the wood, the frame. I love that. Now I just have like this napkin or, um, from the thrift store I got. I put it in my material stash. You can see I've already used it for one project. I'm just going to cut out a shape of a, like a square. And you can determine your size. Now I got this little dried looking flower at the Dollar Tree. I love it. I grabbed a couple of them. So we're just going to fold it up, bring the corners in, just to make it look like a little, what do you call it, basket? Not really a basket, but you know what I mean. Take our twine, we're going to tie it. Now I had like a hem around it and I decided I wanted more of a fray look so I'm just going to cut that off. I could have done it beforehand but I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. That's a fun, you can kind of just decide what you like and you go with it. I decided I want to tie a little bow on there. Just a little like simple bow. bring out that little handy dandy tool and help our process along right. I'll have that linked in my description. Decide where I want it. I love these dried flowers. You need to look at your Dollar Tree and see if you can find some. And we're just going to take our glue and we're going to glue it on. It's that easy. I only did one cone of paint because I kind of liked how um, you could see the white through it. It was just more natural. We're going to glue that on there. That easy, but look how cute. Look how cute that simple project was. I love it. Just find your pieces, put them together. They turn out sick and cute. I and if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. You guys have a good day.